In the still darkness of a night like this, it's easy to find monsters. For at the edges of light, where the shadows dance, that's where the unexplained live. And in Japan, they call these supernatural entities yokai. But sometimes, it's not the ones in the dark that you need to worry about. Sometimes, the very worst walk with us in the day. Creatures like the Kuchesaki Ona, the slit-faced woman who ambushes children, asking one question. Do you think I'm pretty? Thanks so much to Factor for showing us that great tasting, fast and fresh meals delivered to your door are no myth. While the other children cheered at the soft chime of the 3 p.m. school bell, young Ren was silent. Sure, he wanted to be excited. He wanted to go home and play his new Super Nintendo. But first, he'd have to brave the long, lonely walk home. And that meant he'd have to elude the Kuchisaki Ona. Now, usually, Ren had his older brother to protect him on the walk home. But not today. He was homesick, and he was all alone. And she preyed on the lone children. But he couldn't put off the journey any longer. The walk home started easily enough, with Ren knowing that an adult was just a shout away. For added comfort, he popped a hard candy into his mouth, savoring the sweetness. Even though every street seemed to be empty, Ren was taking no chances. He clutched his bag to his chest and peered down every road, long and hard, before he took it. He also tried to avoid bus shelters, trees, or really anywhere she could be hiding. Now, no one really knows where the Kuchesaki Ona came from or why it was she targeted children. Not to mention, these stories from his classmates across the playground all varied, each more gruesome than the last. May said that the Kuchisaki Ona was an old spirit who had been married to a samurai. The samurai fought in many wars, and so the woman was lonely. She said that when the samurai came home and found another man in his bed, he was so enraged that he cut Kuchisaki Ona from ear to ear, and now she lived on as a vengeful spirit ever since. Rina thought that was nonsense. It wasn't the samurai who cut her up. It was actually another woman. A woman that got so jealous of the beauty of Kuchisaki Ona that she just sliced her face so she could never be pretty again. But Shoda told everyone that the Kuchisaki Ona was actually a young spirit, and that the cuts on her face weren't from an attacker, but from a surgery gone wrong. Of course, Shoda knew this for sure, because his friend over in Chiba said that he knew a dentist who told him that she actually had teeth going all the way back into her throat. <laughs> Ren, however, didn't really care how she came to be. He was more concerned with where she would be right now. And walking home alone, every shadow seemed twice as long. And after what felt like an eternity, he finally came to the home stretch. Literally, there was his house in the distance, and his mother's in the window. Oh, he began to sprint towards home, relaxing a little. Oh, that was a rookie mistake. Suddenly, a figure stepped out from behind a tall bush. Though Ren was so caught up in getting home that he didn't even notice at first. Maybe it was because she just looked so normal? She dressed stylishly, in a long red coat and leggings. Her silky black hair fell cleanly down her back, and her pale white skin looked radiant in the sun's evening glow. But when Ren's eyes fell upon the surgical mask she wore, he knew it was too late. His eyes locked with the Kuchisaki Onas, her jet black stare following intently as he tried to run frantically past her, darting across the narrow street. But not looking where you're going is a danger in its own right. And Ren misjudged the curb and stumbled, body hurtling towards the pavement. His bag flew from his shoulder, and he closed his eyes, bracing for the inevitable crash. But it never came? Instead, he fell into soft, comforting arms. It was his mother! Oh, he clutched her tightly and began to cry in her arms. But then, his logic and survival instinct kicked in. He needed to warn his mother about the otherworldly monster that was close behind him. So reluctantly, he pulled away from her and began to shout warnings to his mother, just screaming that the Kuchisaki Ona was real and right behind them and... Wait, what? The monstrous woman was nowhere to be seen. You believe me, don't you, mother? Ren begged, but her reply was like ice in his veins. Do you think I'm pretty? How could he have been so foolish? Ren knew how fast she was. He heard she could outspeed a car. And if that was real, how many other of the grisly rumors were true? Wait, hold on. Didn't those same rumors also mention she had some sort of weakness? Do you think I'm pretty? The sing-song voice repeated menacingly. He knew there were steps to this if he could just only remember. But by this point, fear had gripped his mind entirely. So he told her the only thing he could think of. The truth. Yes, I, I think you're pretty. And it wasn't a lie, exactly. She was beautiful from what he could see. The Kuchisaki Ona paused for a moment, perhaps considering his answer. If she was pleased, she didn't show it. 
but her body twitched ever so slightly, and that's when Ren caught a glint of something metal hidden behind her back. Then slowly, she reached up to her face and peeled down the surgical mask. Ren was horrified. Every rumor was true, and then some! Beneath the mask was a vicious wound. What looked like a jagged slash ran from ear to ear, permanently splitting her face into a mirthless facsimile of a grin. And it only got worse as she spoke. Do you still think I'm... <laughs> the gash across her face split open. The hole where her mouth should be, extending ear to ear, revealing rows upon rows of unnaturally sharp teeth. And her eyes glinted, unfeeling, as she revealed what she'd been hiding behind her back. A bloodied pair of scissors. Ren stammered. He quickly thought through his options. If he said no, he was probably dead on the spot. But if he agreed again, he'd heard she would cut his face to look like hers. Just the thought of that fate caused the candy in his mouth to lose all sweetness. Wait, that's it. He remembered. The key to getting out of this alive and unscarred. And it was inside of his bag just a few steps away. I think... He offered slowly, each word keeping his attacker at bay as he circled around to his knapsack. Want some candy? With a dexterous hand, Ren grabbed some of his old-fashioned hard candies, Bekoame, and hurled them across the sidewalk. And although the timeless yokai can outrun a car, turned out she couldn't resist the sweet crunch of a Bekoame. The ghost bolted to the sweet treats with preternatural speed, and Ren turned and bolted towards home. He didn't look back, never witnessing her stopping to pick up each candy individually and force it wholesale into her gaping throat. But she did just that. In fact, Ren never saw the Kuchisaki Ona again, but he never outdrew the fear of the slip-faced woman. To this day, he'll still avoid empty streets and flinch when something moves too fast in the corner of his eye. And he's not alone. Generation after generation would hear tales of Kuchisaki Ona encounters in schoolyards and lunchrooms across Japan, each story more brutal and terrifying than the last, ensnaring the mind of any child that hears her innocent-sounding question, do you think I'm pretty? So, friends, this spooky season, please remember to stay vigilant. And maybe, just maybe, keep some of those hard candies on you. You know, just in case. But if you're running low on that, and like me have a fridge full of tasty Factor meals, maybe give one of them a go. I know, right? Factor is my favorite ready-to-eat meal delivery service that's been sending me tasty meals each week for over a year now so that I never have to worry about what I'm having for dinner. Every meal is ready in two minutes with no prep, no mess, and my absolute favorite, no cleanup. It's just good food ready when I have time to eat it. It really is that simple. Actually, full admission, I do look forward to browsing their weekly rotating menu like a bit of a food nerd. And because they have so many meals to choose from, I can always be sure that everyone in my household gets the food that they love fast. Like this week, I devoured their twist on an old favorite of mine. Chicken pot pie pasta with cauliflower and broccoli. <laughs> oh yeah. And with all the time I saved, I was actually able to put away all of my Halloween decorations before Thanksgiving this year. <laughs> you can give Factor a try for yourself at factor75.com or by clicking the link below. And if you use the code extra credits 50, you'll get 50% off your first Factor box. Then you'll be getting fast and flavorful meals at a deep discount while also supporting us making the shows you love. So click right here to check out Factor. And once you decide on dinner, why not check out our next video here? Look at that dinner and a show thanks so much to michael hoggett kuya koi joseph lane izzy coin dominic valenciana arcolite games angelo valenciana and ahmed ziad turk 